Hello everyone, it's Marion Wallace with Restoring Ghettos Forgotten Daughters. You caught me in transit, but I, I wanted to shoot a little quick video because I haven't been on in a while and I want you guys to know that I'm still here trying to make a difference, but I'm also busy in my everyday life and so that takes priority, but I do want to make time for you guys. Um, and today I just want to do a little conversational piece and that conversational piece is going to be about um, fatherhood basically or the lack thereof um, you know in our homes and so um, and let me just explain how I come up with my topics my topics are everyday you know com you know topics stuff that go down my timeline and um, I'm noticing the climate um, you know going down I don't I'm not on social media a lot I try to make sure I you know have a healthy balance there so I'm not on it a lot, but when I am on there, I'm noticing that there's a lot of breakups going on. And I'm talking about in relationships that are, you know, 10 plus or more. And it's kind of saddened me to see these relationships, these families breaking apart, because all I think about mostly are the children that's left behind and the importance of, you know, having the feminine and the masculine, the masculine energy in the home so that we can have healthy, balanced children. And so when I see these marriages breaking up, it just kind of sad to me because then I'd be like, oh Lord, that's another broken home. You know, that child's gonna have to deal with that, and, you know. Um, and so it saddens me a lot. Um, so I wanted to um, have a little conversational piece about this topic because it's important and we need to talk about it. So now I know that there are occasions when you know, couples cannot stay together. But I'm saying, I'm seeing couples that have been together 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, tops, and they're breaking up for whatever reasons. And um, I'm like, why? You know, like, why now? So I'm not understanding that. And some men are actually walking away from their wives um, right when the children need them the most. And I'm like, why couldn't you just wait another five years to where they're, you know, they're in college? Why now when they're like, they're needing you the most, they're in these years that they, they are more impressionable and they need the guidance of a father in the home to be there for them. And I just don't understand the timing. Um, and it's, you know, it's not good. Um, now I do know there are situations where couples cannot stay together for whatever reasons, like, um, you know, like if there's a partner that has an addiction or there's a partner that's abusive, there's a, you know, a partner that is, you know, could physically harm, um, you know, the wife or the children. Now I know those marriages cannot be saved. I get that, you know, with partners that may be on drugs, you don't feel safe, you know, physically, you don't feel safe. Your, your, you know, your body is threatened or, you know, harm of yourself is threatened by staying with that person and harm to your children. Now I know those are situations where you have to walk away and be okay with walking away, but I'm all about, you know, protecting our marriages and, 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 and cultivating our marriages and staying with our partners and try to work through, you know, things that we can possibly work through. Cause nobody's perfect. We're all, we all fall short. We're all, we all have hangups. Um, you know, as long as you're not being repeatedly hurt by your partner, you know, why not try to work it out for the sake of the children, for the sake of you? I mean, because a lot of people are out there painting this picture of singlehood. Let me tell you, singlehood is not all that cracked up to be. There's a lot of games. There's a lot of games that people play with your heart, with your mind, with your spirit and your body if you let them. And nobody has a title and everybody's just free to be with whoever they want to be with. There's no real commitment, no real love. And I'm like, you know, that's not something I think we should desire or want. Um, but the world is painting this picture that singlehood is all that and a bag of chips and it really isn't. I would rather be with someone committed to me and committed to protecting my heart. Someone that I can go home to after a long day you know the world kicks our tail day in and day out and it's so valuable to have somebody that you can trust and that loves you and you love them back to have your back when you've had a hard day just to give you a hug or just to say they love you or just something like a nice gesture marriage could be a beautiful thing if we let it but we can't be selfish 
you know we have to be selfless in our marriage and that's where a lot of us break down i'm not, I'm not gonna go long in it but i get so sick and tired of people down and downplaying marriages marriages are important and and we need to get back to it i think we need to stay together in our our family so that we can be solidified and strong and, and raise healthy strong productive children um <clears throat> But this video was that I'm like, man, I'm seeing people that's been together for years that are breaking apart. And it breaks my heart to see the children that, that are going to have to go through that tug of war process of being with this parent, being with that parent, or maybe the father not coming around at all. Now, guys, I'm not just bashing you because I know some men feel like, you know, their marriage is not salvable, salvageable, you know, like you can't salvage it. I know that. I know some women can be very difficult. And sometimes the woman may be the problem, but men, I don't care how hard that woman is, you lay down with her, you procre procreated with her, that child doesn't deserve you walking away. Now, let me tell you what I mean, because I know there are some good men out there, but I've seen good men walk away from their children. I, I have actually have experience in it that a so-called good man will walk away from his kid. Now, when he first leaves, you know, walks away from his wife, he may be consistent. I ain't gonna necessarily just say wife because some people don't believe in the you know don't believe in marriage and they, they they're okay with just being together as life partners or whatever uh, but you know a man may walk away from his mate he's been with her you know several plus years and he walks away for whatever reason they're married you know they have irreconcilable differences so they can't make it work so then he walks away and then so he's he's seeing the kids maybe well, you know once twice a week and then that once twice a week turns into maybe once or twice a month and then that once or twice a month turns into once a month and then before you know it it's six months and and it just goes on and on and on and on and while you guys are not in the home your children are needing and missing you I'm gonna be turning in a few minutes I got to make sure I stay focused um, but they're needing and they're missing you. Guys, I can't explain how important it is for um, your daughters to know that, they're, that you're there and that you're a good role model and that you're telling her how beautiful and how special and how smart she is. And you're opening the door for her and you're treating her like the princess that she is and you're telling her that you love her. And I can't tell you how important that is for her growth as a as a young woman going into her womanhood because you don't want her without that covering that father covering you don't want her without that going into her young adulthood and then she meets this guy that tells her everything that you've never told her and and more than likely for the wrong reasons so then that's how we're losing our young our youth our youth girls are getting pregnant really, really early. Well, it's, it's been that like that for years, honestly. Because they're looking for something that they don't have at home or they never had at home. They're looking for something, you know, they're looking for that out elsewhere that they should have been able to find in their youth at, at home. And so that's extremely important. I can't, I, I can give you an example of myself, like my father, was abusive it's no secret I've forgiven him I've gotten over it I love him and I even respect him but I respect him from a distance because there's a lot of behavior that he still you know inhabits him and I can't continue I can't live my life like that I can't be reminded of trauma that I experienced in my youth from somebody that refuses to change so I have to kind of love him from a distance but I've forgiven him, so I don't have daddy issues. You know, men are so good good at saying girls or women have daddy issues. So I don't have daddy issues anymore, but I did. Uh, but you don't know how that, you know, I've never been told by my father that I was beautiful, that I was smart, that I was special, that I was intelligent, that he loved me. I think now in my adult life, like when um, we have conversation over the phone, he'll say, you know, like when we were getting ready to get off the phone, he'll say, I love you. Most of the time he's intoxicated 
so that I love you doesn't mean anything to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, but I, this is real talk here. So guys, you have to make sure you're there, especially with your daughters. Your sons need you too. Women, we women, we can't, we can't show our boys how to be men. We try and we do a hell of a good job. Some, some of them do really well. And some of them don't because they needed their father. You know, some of us grow up with abandonment issues because our fathers or our mothers wasn't there. So it's very imperative that we have both parents being consistently involved in our children's lives. And so I wanted to make that example because, because my dad didn't give me that, you know, maybe I entertained some people that didn't mean me well, all because I never heard that, you know, I was special, I was loved. I was beautiful or I was pretty. I never heard that from my dad. So it may have put me into to some really bad situations with people that didn't mean me any good because I never heard it. So it's important, you guys, for you to be there. And I don't just mean child support. A lot of people make a big deal about child support. Child support don't mean nothing if you ain't, you're not involved in your child's life. Nothing, just money. So, I'm sorry I gotta <laughs> I need to know that I'm going the right direction here but I wanted to shoot this little video just to encourage us I know there's sometimes where our relationships cannot be reconciled we can't stay together it's unhealthy in the home it's unhealthy for us so we have to walk away from each other we have to take a split but I'm saying please don't let that split be from your for your children like from your children don't split from your children always be consistent role models and parents so that we can raise healthy productive loving people you know good people that's what we want to raise we everybody in our community don't need to have trauma infiltrated in their lives like every person i talk to it shouldn't be the same trauma story it shouldn't be the same abandonment issues it shouldn't be not you know i want to hear i love to hear successful stories because that gives me hope for the future when I hear people that don't walk away from their families, that men that don't cheat on their wives and they take care of their kids and their responsibilities and they put their families first. That gives me hope. And so I just pray that we embrace more of godly, you know, more of God's ways and we won't be so worldly. So many of us, we're followers, we're not leaders. And we're just so worldly and we're doing everything everybody else is doing and we're losing y'all I can't tell you how much we're losing but we are losing because when it comes down to it those children that don't have fathers or don't have mothers don't know how to be in loving substantial relationships they have abandonment issues that they're still dealing with so they don't have a clue where am I turning? <laughs> I'm directionally challenged, you guys. I will admit that. Um, but they don't have a clue on how to be in long-term productive relationships because the people that they needed to show them the most love and to give them that guidance wasn't there for them. And they feel unworthy. They feel like, well, if my dad didn't want me or care enough about me, my mom didn't want me or care enough about me. How can another woman care about me? Or how can a man care about me? And so there's a lot of brokenness there. We can have so much of a, um, a better quality of life if we knew how to love, love one another the correct way. So this is me just shooting my little video, giving my little five cents on how um, you know, we should be more focused on creating strong, healthy families versus following the crowd. Fathers, we need you in our homes. I don't care what people say about you. We need you in our homes. We love you. We appreciate you. And we need you in our homes. So whatever you need to do to be, you know, to, to understand that and do so. Whatever you need to do then do so and it all starts with Christ I mean you know it all starts with God whoever you decide is your maker it, it starts with your source 
it starts with your source and being the best version of yourself so i'm challenging you know and i, I don't want to leave this out now ladies for whatever reason if our men do walk away and leave because they feel like they could not work it out with us we have to be strong enough women and put our children first and forgive those men and allow those men to be active in their children's lives. That's our responsibility. That's what we need to be doing, period. That's what we need to be doing. These kids do not need to grow up thinking their fathers didn't want them all because you couldn't forgive them and you wouldn't let him see his own children. That's a failure on the mother's part. And then you walk around with this single mother badge saying you're doing everything by yourself and you really don't have to. You're just doing it because you can't forgive the person that decided it was over. So we got to do better too, ladies. I ain't just fussing at the men for walking away. First of all, we need to ask ourselves why they're walking away. Ask ourselves that. You know, hold ourselves accountable. One thing I do know is until we get this right with our children, we're going to keep having the same old generational curses, the same old, you know, stuff that's keeping us unproductive, that's keeping us at the levels that we're on. I'm saying we need to exceed all of those things by being, first of all, by being walking in our truths and putting our children first. These children did not ask to be here. So we can't just be selfish and we just decide, I'm living my dream. Forget that kid. Too many of us are living our dreams. What about living our purpose? What is our purpose in life? We're so busy with living our dreams that we're forgetting about everything else that's important because we want this one goal and this one dream that may not even be our purpose in life. So let's get that right, you guys. I'm not saying that we can't live our dreams, but we gotta make sure we put our priorities in order. And that comes with raising healthy, productive children. Children that can go out and do the same thing for their children. And then they do the same thing for their children so that we can have healthy communities and healthy families again. Stop all this single parenthood. That's, that's not an honor. It's not an honor at all. It's a failure. And I admit I failed in it too. But we gotta stop that failure. We gotta come back and bring our families back together. We gotta have a healthy community and we got to do it together, you guys. So I'm calling out all the fathers, all the men that are walking away from their wives. And you know who you are. You're walking away from your wives. And then it ain't even, it ain't even a, a good year. Maybe not even a good two or three months. You are already with somebody else. That's what you're teaching your, your son. That's what you're teaching your daughter. That's how we do each other. After 10 or more years of marriage, a relationship that's how we do each other hey i'm calling y'all to the mat i'm calling men to the mat i'm calling women to the mat we got to get this right this isn't cool this isn't good at all because the children are are being affected and hurt and hurt by this and i don't care how much for women i don't care how much how much sorry you guys i just had a call come through so i'm gonna close this off but i do want to finish what i was saying i don't care how strong of mothers that we are because black women are some incredibly strong women but i don't care how strong we are women i don't care if you're keeping your children away from his or her father you're creating damage in that child that's a form of child abuse i mean that's a form of abuse that's not healthy we got to get that part right ladies we got to forgive these men we got to move on with our lives and we gotta allow these men to be a part of, of their children's lives. As long as they're not hurting the child, they're not, they're not abusive, there's no, you know, nothing going on that shouldn't be going on, and they just wanna be a part of their children's lives, why not let that happen? Our children need their fathers. So, um, this is me targeting women and men. I see a lot of people breaking apart, and I know during this pandemic, it's really, really hard on people because money may not be right in certain homes and we got to work together we got to talk and have some healthy conversations but we can't put the blame on one person 
when this pandemic happened, it was no none of our faults. It just happened. So why allow our marriages to be separated because of the pandemic, our relationships to be severed because of uh, the pandemic? We can get beyond this too. But the, let's all do it in a positive manner. Let's show everybody that we are really black excellence, that we can do this thing, y'all, and we can do it right. So again, I just wanted to shoot this short video just to encourage people that are in marriages or long-term relationships. You might not be feeling your spouse right now, and he, you know, he may not be feeling you, but you know, sometimes you're not gonna like that person, but you still love them. So allow that love to grow you. I mean, people fall in and out of love all the time, but that doesn't mean that you walk away from a really good marriage because there's some people that really love each other out there and that are really committed. And that's the example that our children need to, to see lived out in front of them instead of all this individualism. Everybody's talking about, I don't need a man or I don't need a woman. No, God didn't put us here to be alone. We do need each other. So let's come back together and let's build these happy, strong, healthy homes together, you guys. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for clicking on my channel. Be blessed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.